And I'm wondering what your kind of thoughts are on how much sort of technology and sort of been having access to the latest tools and equipment is going to help retain as well. But for me, it's about augmenting. The, for, for me, it's about trying to be more efficient around the back end processing. So post bind, that sort of activity. You know, the more we can digitalize that and 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 make that sort of like a standard process, the better. For me, on the underwriting side of things, it's about how do we augment or supplement the brain power. Because from my perspective in the book, you know, that my company writes, it is the big ticket stuff. And and as good as computers are, they're still not quite matching up with the human brain and how the human brain can take, you know, maybe 20, 30 years of experience in this sector, things that they've seen. And because the, the computer can only look at what's happened in the past to a certain extent. And, you, and they're trying to use that as a predictor of the future. But I still want that human engagement in the mix there. So for me, if it can simplify some tasks, like, you know, we've rolled out software in our organisation that enables policy wordings to be compared, you know, a click of a button, and you can see what's different between last year's wording and this year's button. Right. So I don't need every underwriter to read every single line and try and work out where the broker has moved clause A from that was previously on page 27 and is now on page 35. Yeah. And if the clause is the same, I don't I don't need the human investment in that. So I think that's really nice when you can make things like that efficient. Equally, you know, we're looking at how we look at risk engineering reports and can we can we be smarter about, about that in terms of how do we pick up the differences or the highlights or the things that we want a person to actually look at versus versus letting a machine do it. So for me it's how do I think it is quite exciting the prospect of augmenting or supplementing the underwriting process. But certainly for the large ticket items, from from my perspective, I want to keep the people involved. I mean, absolutely. But, um, underwriting in particular and insurance in general is is, is a relationship-driven um, industry and you're not going to lose that. And that's absolutely here to stay. And, and, so, and so it should. As you said, technology should be here to supplement and augment and take away those add many type of tasks where actually you don't want a senior underwriter having to key from your pricing system to your policy admin system, or as you said, compare two slips when a computer can do just as good a job. And, and also to your point earlier, maybe younger people coming into the industry are also less tolerant of some of that stuff. You know, where hundred percent, hundred percent, or admin based. You know, because they've grown up in a world where Excel has always existed. You know, unlike, you know, me with paper and pencil and lucky if I got a scientific calculator. So, so, but they, 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 they've not known anything else in their lives other than the next, you know, my son's been doing an Excel course as part of his uni course. He can do lots of things with Excel. I have no clue about what to do. You've probably got a better idea than me because that's, you know, that's what you're, you're getting involved with. You're getting a bit more involved in that side of things. But so these, these, these kids are coming out of uni or school. With a very different skill set in terms of how to analyze and process data. And I think then organizations do need to sort of catch up a bit because if, if they're effectively, you know, going from 2020s and they're going back to like 2010 or 2005, they're going to feel that in, in much more way than perhaps other people would of a different generation. Completely. I mean, my kids, my kids are completely digitally native. No, but my, my daughter still gets surprised when she like pods my computer monitor and goes, "What? Why is that not touchscreen?" It's like everything is everything is touchscreen and, and easy and super slick and workflow. There's no way that generation is going to be digital in their personal lives and analog at work. Yeah, like, and it's they, a question they, about tolerance, isn't it? It's a question about tolerance to 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 live with that with that setup at work. So yeah, we've got some jobs to do, I think.